Hello and welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Today I have an ink review for you and this is the Alt Goldgrun. So I'm trying to get a good picture here. It's awfully dreary today, but I know that inks can be very subjective, especially when you have artificial inside light. So just wanted to get this in natural light as much as possible. So we're gonna just be comparing that with Monteverde Olivine, which I have a nice big bottle of because I love it so much. And then one of my new favorites, can you even see that? There we go. It is a uh, Diamine Meadow and it's a beautiful, beautiful green. And I've done a review of that. Actually, I think I've done one of each, maybe? No, I know for sure I've done Meadow and compared it to the um, olivine. So we are going to just dive right in and I'm going to grab my my glass dip pen and see, oh, we're kind of at the bottom. This is um, an ink that was given to me as a part of a wonderful haul and uh, by a friend, actually by a viewer and a friend and so i'm just continuing on with the marvelous inks that were given to me so this is alt gold grun and so let's see and Alt Goldgren means gold, gold, green. So it should be a goldish greenish color and hopefully we'll be able to see that in just a bit. The pen I'm using is a glass dip and the nib size on that is usually about a medium. in here and what's really neat about this is especially whoa as i do um, calligraphy with dip pens is that this actually says you can it's made in germany and it is you can use the writing ink for anything so you can use it for dip pens and for uh, fountain pens alike which is so nice so it's where was i um let's see if we have a any bleed through, but I'm going to do this. So zero, five, and ten. So there's the dry time. It's not that dry of an ink, I don't think. Um, no bleed through on this paper, and this is the Tomoe River paper. So really, hardly have any inks that are bleeding through on this. And then the shading, which I can do here. We can see if there's any kind of a shading. I don't really see any on this, but online it's got crazy amounts of shading. So maybe when it dries, we can see a little bit more of that. Maybe if I just go a little bit more heavy handed. No, and I was just kind of noticing, I don't really have, I have, not really, but I don't have any pens with broad nibs because I like my nibs to be really fine. And uh, now I do calligraphy, so that's a little bit different. So um, anyway, so you can do that. And I'm gonna do a, actually I'll do a, I'm gonna do my drawing real quick. Let's see, goldish greenish. So maybe I can, let's draw a plant. And I have to tell you, this plant looks way more healthy than the plants that I normally have. 
I kill my plants. So they're more on the goldish side because I kind of forget to water them. All right, well, there's my, my plant. And um, so we'll wait for that guy to dry a little bit too. And here's a writing sample if I can get back into frame. Okay, so we'll have to wait for all that to dry just a tad. And then I am also going to do a water test, which I stinking forget to do each time. And I even drew the box for it for the last review that I did. I'm glad you guys are nice to me because um, no one has said, hey, you keep forgetting to do this. So when I'm gonna put this down, I'm actually gonna go ahead and drop some water on it uh, fairly quickly so I don't it's just ADD I don't know it's like you're on to the next thing and you just even within a review just forget to do whatever it was that you were thinking about doing I don't know if you ever do that like walk into the garage and then you're like what in the world was I doing all right so there's my gold gold gun. All right, so I'm gonna just jot down a few other things. So this is my dip pen. All right, so there's that. Oh, and while I'm getting the water, do that. Ah, got it on my writing sample. How could I? I guess that's a good way to test it too, right? Get on there. I try to drip it on there. Come on. Nothing's nothing's working with me here. All right, so that's pretty good. Um, and then my other ones that I wanted to get and compare. Let me put the lid on this here. Get the get it capped. Um, Monteverde Olivine. So, if you have not tried this ink, it is just it is so yummy. Such a beautiful ink. Um, yes, there's like little crusties everywhere, but it's um it is a like a regular staple for me to draw with and to write with and I just think it's a beautiful beautiful ink and uh, this is my second bottle so that tells you how much I love this ink so this is And this ink is like a, a staple. It shows up great on horrible paper. And so anyway, just really, really love this ink. It's, it's kind of a regular in my pens, especially this one. I'm gonna show you real quick. It's a regular in my Pelican M400. So it's a very pretty pairing. I have a video on that if you're interested. And here's the diamine. And I know this meadow green is like a true grassy green. It's literally a meadow green. It's named very, very well. But it's the only other ink that I kind of have in the green family that's lightish. I, I do have diamine dark forest, which is also another 
pretty ink, uh, but just wanted to get another comparison here. And so, just so you can see, Okie doke. So the water's been sitting there. I'm just gonna get it absorbed by my paper towel and it's virtually destroyed. So um, don't write with this out in the rain or even in the fog. I think it's going to not show up on your papers. But on this ink sample, this is showing up more, uh, it's showing up pretty dark using a medium-ish nib. So I'm really loving the way that sh that looks. It's kind of got this mossy green to it and uh, compared to the olivine, it looks, actually looks pretty close. I don't know if you can tell on there. It's just today and the, the lighting, let me tell you. But you can see the goldish color down here um, as compared to the Monte Verde here. Let me, let me kind of get that smeared a little bit more. You can see it. So it's a beautiful ink. I'm really, I'm really loving it. And I can tell why, I can totally see why the, uh, the bottle is kind of used up on that one. Uh, because it is really a pretty, pretty ink. There's my finger painting going on. Yes, I use my finger. That's why I usually have ink on it. But there's my my um, comparison. So don't know if you're looking for an ink that is kind of um, maybe more towards the olive side than the olivine. Um, but for me, the olivine works really well. Let me just show you in the um, Pelican and this is a fine nib so I'm gonna just uh, jot it down here Pelican fine it just looks a little bit different when you are actually using this in the pen instead of being heavy-handed with it so anyway so hope that this was a good look for you into the greens and uh, I just think that greens on cream colored paper, they're so beautiful. And uh, this is actually a very, very nice alternative. I'm surprised I thought it was gonna be super yellow. And I know that sometimes uh, inks are just so subjective, as I said, and it's nice to have somebody else kind of try it out for you. And again, trying to use natural light so you can see what this looks like, but I think, especially like smearing some of this, the uh, the yellowish bits kind of show up a little bit nicer. It has a beautiful dimension to this ink though, I think. So anyway, hope that was helpful. And if you would like to check out the video links for the Pelican pen review and also the Diamine Meadow. And even if you want to know how to use a dip pen, I have a video on that as well. And also, I am in the process of doing, whoops, a, yeah, that was like a ding. Actually, I didn't mean to do that. Um, a giveaway. And so I have two videos and they are the Eroshizuku inks. And so just click on those. One is the pinks and another one is the Hisoku ink that I just did not too long ago. There it is. So check that one out. Uh, it's a lot of teals and just beautiful colors in these inks. So check those out. Leave me a comment in those vi videos because that's where I'm gonna be checking for the giveaway. So until next time, bye.